Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we bring to you gist on Yemi Shodimo, the popular actor who played the role of Ajani in Oleku. Well, it may interest you to know that some people still call him Ajani after decades of releasing the movie. They don't call him by his name, but these are some of the price they have to pay for being an actor. Well, today is celebration day as he is celebrating his birthday today. He was born on the 29th January 1960. By my calculations, that should be 62 years of age. And you wonder what it is that Yemi Shodimu use for his ever looking young face. No one could tell that he's up to that age. Yemi Shodimu is a Nigerian dramatist, television presenter, director, and a filmmaker. He's also a radio presenter, a broadcaster. I mean, the title just keeps going on and on. He's an epitome of versatility. He's versatile and it's good at each and every one of this title that he upholds. Shodimu was born in Abelkuta in Ogun State. He spent his early years in Abelkuta at the Palace of Alaki of Egbalan, where he was exposed to the Yoruba culture. You will notice that Yemi Shodimu is someone who is very keen on the culture of Yoruba. If he's presenting, you hear it from him. If he's acting, he acts out all of the culture. There's also someone who propagates the culture as well. Speaking on how Abelkuta shaped him, being that he was born there and he grew up there, this conversation came up with City People magazine. He said, and I quote, the first thing that comes to my mind is folk tales. Abelkuta is a bit more laid back than Lagos. The environment probably helps in deep thinking. The environment enables you to thrive. Just like I said, I saw our masquerades, I saw our drummers, I participated in traditional drumming, folks, singing, and the environment has really helped. One has been able to mingle with elders who are deep in their philosophy. I guess this has helped in shaping me. One thing is that I got exposed to quite a number of our musicians. This is one of the reasons I am so passionate about Chief Ebenezer Obey. He used to call my perform for us in the house. And by the time I finished my youth service, the only thing I wanted to do was join Ebenezer Obey's band. But the NTA job was waiting. And quote, this was Yemi Shodimu letting us know how it is that the culture of Yoruba has been imbibed in him from a very, very young age. And this is so true, considering the type of movies that he appears in, the kind of cues that he showcases in any movie whatsoever he decides to appear in. Yemi Shodimu is someone who doesn't just accept any kind of script. He's the kind of person that will screen the script well if it's something that is relatable and it is rich in culture yes you will find yemi shodimu there to interest you to know that late oloria dejo kegbaribo was the grandmother of yemi shodimu explaining this on how he started acting it said in his words and i quote i think my upbringing influenced it i grew up with a grandmother the late Olori Adejoke Gbadibo, the wife of the late Alake of Egbaland. I had the opportunity of growing up in the palace. I had an early exposure to our culture, our tradition, our drums, our dances, our costume, our foods, our proverbs. I had the privilege of listening to elders that were building up in me without me knowing. My charming and lovely old woman, my grandmother, used to take us to the Centenary Hall to watch live theater. So I was privileged to watch Ogunde, Ogumola, Duro Ladipo, Babasala, etc. That was a starting point for me. I realized that I was involved in the cultural group and other groups in school, and eventually I found myself on television. What brought me to Village Headmaster was an accident. I went to the National Theatre to see a performance with some members of my family and friends, and I saw them rehearsing. The people I was going with did not know I had left them, that I stayed behind to watch. I was so engrossed by what they were doing. Then I was in my third year in secondary school. So they saw the way I was watching them, and they asked me if I was interested, and I said yes, and that was the beginning. I eventually started rehearsing with them. I realized that the first day I appeared on television, my father was so proud. The whole street came wanting to see the magician in the tube. 
and that was the starting point and since that time i never looked back when i was going to study at ife i filled drama even for the option so it's been exciting from stage to television big screen just name it see the reason why guillermo shodimu doesn't just appear in any kind of movie it makes sure to screen to see the culture to see the richness of such script for accepting and admitting and even when he decides to produce and direct a movie it is always very different from our regular yoruba movies they are always blockbuster movies they are always box office movies and this is because of the knowledge that he had growing up this showed in the one popular movie he acted in who where he played the character of Ajani played the role so well that even till now after so many decades people call him Ajani and some even think that he is truly and really in a cult but he explained that people need to understand that there is a difference between reality and make-believe and yes a lot of actors and actresses have been portrayed and projected from the make-believe world to the reality world but a lot of people need to understand this you know this with the post ng he said the truth is that i have never been anywhere close to being a cultist apart from being a palm wine drinking club member which i also portrayed in the play i have to study that particular role well before being able to act it well this was the emission demo explaining and he even said for that that he had to do a lot of research before he was able to play the role he said before i could interpret the role well i did a lot of research into what life was like in the university of ibadan and other universities because i needed to imbibe the character of a journey in the university it took a long time to get into that character it took a lot of energy to retain it and it took a much longer time to get out of it it was really a challenging one for me the movie was released decades ago and we never knew it was going to be that big i feel we shot the movie earlier than we should because if it were now we would be telling a different story as it will further realign us with our culture this was yemisha dimu saying that the movie oleku wasn't what they expected that was going to turn out that big but then imagine them playing it in this age and time they would have been telling a different story in such a way that it will portray and realign with our culture see guys i told you that yamisha demo is somebody who is particular about culture about tourism about the things that has to do with tradition i for one growing up watching that movie didn't exactly get the concept behind the whole movie it is titled oleku and it could mean two things the style of a yoruba dressing which is a knee length hero and an elbow length buba and this is what they call uliku and at the same time it means another thing which is when the civil war broke out and it became seriously hot at ore so this is why some yoruba people say oleku ija ore so it could mean two things so i couldn't get the picture behind it and it is possible that this is what yemisha demo meant by telling a different story and aligning the story with our culture well guys back to the gist about us today which is yemisha demo celebrating his birthday we say happy birthday to him long life and prosperity well guys there you have it do not forget to like subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section below thank you bye